Almost 70,000. Almost 70,000. But at that same time, at the same time, everyone should prepare for homelessness. I received a comment on a video just a minute ago, and it said that Bitcoin is the only way to beat inflation. Bitcoin is the only way to beat inflation. And today is, in fact, June 9th, 2024. June 9th, 2024. Okay. And tomorrow, I'm sorry, not tomorrow. And in three days, or roughly three days, it will be June 12th, 2024. And you know what that means, right? Did you see that? Are you paying attention? Are you listening? Important times, folks. Important dates. Important information. I hope you guys are aware. I hope you guys are ready and prepared. And I hope if you guys got questions, you drop them down below in the comment. Send me a DM on Instagram. Reach out. Hit me up. Links in the description. Now, let's talk about making money, right? Because I actually came across this clip yesterday. And I was going to share it with you guys. And... I think it's fitting for the times that we're in and the way that people are feeling. And with that being said, we need to be very careful and cautious about how and where we spend our energy, where we spend our money, and ultimately how we are going to prepare ourselves for this future. This future of high inflationary times, this future of a stock market crash, this future of a housing market crash, this future of an automotive industry crash, and the future of the of, of of a recession a deep recession a depression and an upcoming election and every quite possibly almost any and every challenge that you thought we could possibly face at one time being thrown up at us at the same time oh yeah did i mention it's june did I mention it's June? Does anybody know the importance of the month of June or at least the significance and what what added challenges that month presents to pretty much the entire country? Yeah. Wild and crazy stuff, folks. Wild and crazy stuff. Damn Enterprise truck came through here making all that racket. So let me ask you, drop a comment down below. Let me know because we actually did this the other day and let me know we're going to do a little bit different today what do you think is going to be better to beat inflation okay is it bitcoin is it is it xrp don't say ripple don't say ripple is it bitcoin is it xrp do you know why i'm saying don't say ripple is it bitcoin is it xrp is it nvidia is it gold is it silver let me know down in the comment section down below i want to know what you guys think is going to be the best way to beat inflation because it's here it's going to be here it's going to continue to get worse and prices are going to continue to go up wages are going to continue to go down with that interest rates will stay up which means that quite possibly the potential return that you can get on certain investments could be greater high yield savings but also the cost to borrow will be more expensive as well except there are some exceptions to the rule for instance the ways in which your credit score will uh, no matter how high or low your credit score is how you can make it not have an impact on the interest rate on a car loan how you can get a home for zero percent mortgage and maybe the most important one right now is how you can get your credit card bills paid off so you don't have to continuously pay monthly accrued interest that is only making every dollar, every hour you work, every dollar you make less valuable uh, because it's automatically going towards interest. Crazy times, folks. Um, and this is only the beginning. This is only the beginning and it's only going to get worse. I can't even keep up. I can't even keep track of the stories anymore of how people aren't paying their bills like they should or like how they used to, how many companies and businesses are laying people off, uh, how many companies and businesses are going out of business and closing down for good. And I actually had a list of, I, I had a list of, I think it was like Walmart, it was Target, it was Apple, it was Tesla. There was a few others. I think uh, there's a there's a tire manufacturer 
There's a few more. Hang on. Let me let me go get it. I got it. And let's see here. The door didn't shut. Alright. Let's see. Because I had an, I had some notes taken that I wanted to share with you guys. Yep. Major layoffs. Major layoffs in May 2024, which carry over into June, July, August, September, October, November, December. For the foreseeable future, jobs aren't safe. Income's not safe. Your money's not safe. Banks are going under. Banks are crashing. Banks are going down. And be careful of the online fintechs, specifically the ones that are being promoted and advertised on YouTube from other channels. For instance, Graham Stephan, he bought a bank, Yada, which was more of like a gambling platform, but people are now seeing that their money is frozen and they can't get access to their money. If you guys want to know why I haven't been promoting anything for months, well, uh, I, I think it's pretty clear. The writing's on the wall. I had zero faith and zero confidence or trust to bring these opportunities to you, which I felt very strongly about, very passionately about, that they would cause these problems that they are now causing for so many people. And I didn't want to be tied and in, in, in connected and associated with it only for my own personal gain, financial benefit, knowing I wouldn't put my money in it because I didn't trust it. But either way, if you guys want to talk more about that, let me know. The major layoffs in May, several significant layoffs affected thousands of employees worldwide. And the list includes Tesla, which we already know that the, the, the whole Tesla situation is crazy, okay? Google, Microsoft, Walmart, Indeed, Toshiba, TikTok, okay? And that was just that was just the beginning. And then where did the other one go? I got to find the other one because I think it was uh, New Jersey. No, New Jersey was something different. New Jersey was something different. So uh, hang on, hang on. They all start to run together because it's we're getting to that point now. I think we're we're going to start ramping up and seeing and hearing more of these layoffs happening. So you got the Bridgestone tractor tire plant layoff announcements in Des Moines. And also, Bristol Myers is slashing over 860 jobs on the chopping block in New Jersey. So this is just the beginning, folks. And I actually had a recent, sorry for my uh, on-the-fly editing here, but I thought that this would actually be a little bit better color uh, because the sun's not glaring behind me. But sadly, tragically, and scary enough, I actually just saw this one that came through and it was the latest of a and this has an impact on you know a lot of people for a lot of different reasons but it says a catastrophic failure as a massive chunk of the critical link connecting uh this is let's see here chunk we'll look it up chunk of road miss uh collapse that's what it is collapse and teton and so, a large chunk of Wyoming's Teton Pass Road collapses, okay? And so, the transportation department said via social media that the road catastrophically failed at mile post 12.8, which the sight of it is unreal, uh, but the crazy part about it is, is that we were on that road last year. So, it just it's kind of strange that we were on that road and to think that, hey, it could have collapsed while we were driving on it. And who knows what would have happened after that point. See that little pokey spot up there? At least I can tend to X this really right now. That is right. Big tree. Hold on. I'm 10 X into this. That's trees. <laughs> wait, wait. You know what? We've lost it. That right little there, peak back there. Back. Stand back. by. It's coming back. Just look at these really big trees in your face for a second. Now I'll see if I can catch it back right. without. I might be. No, I'm not. Right there. there. <laughs> part of Grand Teton Mountains that I'm super excited to get over to. So we're in Wyoming. This is kind of cool looking. Windshield's kind of dirty, so it's hard to see. But 
It looks like a nice little drop off right over there. We're not gonna get close enough to find out. But I do like looking at all the trees and we're definitely climbing this mountain because my ears are fully stuffed up at this point. I can barely hear myself. Now y'all hear that exhaust though. Very, very pretty. Very, very. We passed a sign that said from, I think November 15th to March 1st, I think it said March 1st, not May 1st, that this pathway, there are no trailers allowed. So like fifth wheels or travel trailers or anything like that, because I guess it gets way too slick or snowy up here. Cars, I guess, work. And then we passed a little side turnoff for where it said cars can pull over to chain your tires. So I'm guessing you drive normal to here and then you get to this point in the winter and you're like, well, I'm not going to make it up this climb without some chains on my tires. So they've given you a nice little pull off spot to put chains on your tires. As somebody who has never done that, I don't know how difficult or easy that is to do. I picture just like trying to put on a hairnet, but for chains on tires. I wonder if that's really how that goes or not, but. Oh, look at this rock. Mesh on it. They got mesh on it? Oh, they do, to catch any little falling debris. Debris. Debriscus. I don't know the right words there. Back in Idaho, I guess you cross over into Wyoming and it gives you a better, holy, see, this is the good stuff. This is the view right here. Let me zoom in so y'all can see those and then zoom out so you can see. See, I don't like the zoom out. I prefer the regular. You're about to get a whole bunch of wind in your ears, people. So I can... Wanted to give you a non-bug riddled view. Now I will say for anybody who is afraid of heights, <laughs> being a passenger on a drive like this can be slightly anxiety inducing but being a driver let me just tell you i i imagine because i haven't driven this that my butthole would never be tighter in my entire life than as a driver on this thing especially in the winter if it happened to have a little bit of snow or ice on it one i wouldn't do it but two it would be terrifying in my opinion gorgeous but terrifying also notice all the way up there there are signs that say watch out for snow slides because snow will start there and slide all the way down and hit the side of your car while you're driving on the road below it just keep that in mind also here's this semi truck run off runaway truck ramp so if your brakes fail in the semi as you're going down this 10 percent de de decline steep grade whatever you go up that and in theory it's such a, a steep angle that it should stop your semi but if it doesn't, please understand you're going over the top of that thing too. Also scary. Look how pretty, y'all. Uh, give you a little wind sound, sorry. It's just so pretty. So peaceful visually, right? Gorgeous. Nature made. Some of it's probably man-made too, but majority nature made down there. A large chunk of uh, twisting mountain pass road collapsed in Wyoming leaving a gaping chasm in the highway and a severing, and, and here's a key, severing a well-traveled commuter link between small towns in eastern Idaho and tourist destination in Jackson. And it says that, um, oh, okay, the road was closed at the time of the collapse, so that's good. I guess they, they, they were aware of the, the risk. But they said it's going to add hours, hours to the to the commute, which you got to think hours taking away from the time that you have to do other things or the uh, added cost of the transport travel and fuel cost, the an increase in traffic. Hey, good morning. How you doing? Good, how are you? Or afternoon. Um, and then uh, also the, the thought that maybe tourism may take a hit and somewhat of a decline because it's just become uh, inconvenient for them and, and or too risky for them to want to uh, try and uh, cross these dangerous roads that are collapsing and this is why it's so important to have a backup plan not just you know from the standpoint of like uh, an alternate route uh, if a road is closed or something like that but having a backup plan financially and uh, in case you lose your job in case uh, you know an unexpected emergency hits and not necessarily in case more like not if but when inflation goes up and goes higher the list goes on and on folks 
We need to be pe prepared. We need to be aware. We need to be alert. Okay. We need to be focusing on our budgets and we need to be saving money. We need to be increasing our earnings. We need to be wiping out debt. We need to be saving and investing. All things that we can talk about more if you guys want, you care to have more videos like those made and brought to the channel, maybe even live streams, feel free. Drop a comment. Let me know. If there's enough interest, I'll be sure to make those videos. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.